another mother freaking video y'all and today about today i don't know what you're gonna be doing today and sorry about my hair like i really need to i really need to redo this bun what's up jay welcome back to another mother freaking video you guys today i will be doing a q a because a lot of y'all want me to do a q a so your girl gonna be doing a q a okay so i had uh, asked my snapchat buddies to ask me some questions i ain't did a q a it's been like a few weeks i ain't doing q a and a lot of stuff been going on in my life so i just let y'all you know ask me some questions what y'all want to know because i'm not gonna do another q a until another three weeks to a month who knows um so yeah y'all asked me some questions on snapchat and i'm going to be answering them in this video so make sure you give the video a thumbs up comment subscribe don't forget to subscribe to my jazz page to my upcoming content we'll be dropping on there and you don't want to miss it and we want to roll to 11k baby okay so let's let's get there okay with that being said let's get into this video because i don't want to be too long y'all know and y'all did ask some good questions so i just picked out the ones that wasn't repeated so many times and i want to pick the same questions that i asked that i answered back then y'all know i wanted to choose something new that i don't really talk about you know what i'm saying or people don't really ask about so we're just about to get into it right now let's go right, so the first question is what's something that annoys you so it's a lot of things that annoys me but the main thing that annoys me will probably be um when i know the truth and the person still continues to lie that's something that really gets under my skin if you know i know the truth why are you still trying to lie like is it that really gets under my skin for real so that's something that annoys me a lot of things annoy me but that right there annoys the sh out of me like <laughs> what's three turnoffs in a guy three turnoffs for me would be i don't like my dude well i don't like a dude they come off thirsty like especially when you're my guy like i don't like you in every girl likes like under every girl picture you know just an attention seeker like that's a turn off for me because I'm not an attention seeker. Like, I'm very low key. You feel me? Um, so, I don't like the attention seeking type of dude. I like them laid back, you know, like me, you know? So, that's a turn off for me. A liar is a turn off for me. Especially when you learn about the smallest things, it's a turn off for me. And, um,. Another thing that's turned off for me would definitely be hygiene. Like, if you can't keep up your hygiene, you just dirty, and that's a turn off for me. So, that was a three turn off in a guy. Question number three How do you know if a guy likes you? So, I feel like it's 2022. Y'all know. I don't know if this is a young girl. Um, so, I'm gonna just explain it. Um, if this is a younger supporter, you can tell when a guy likes you is it's all about his actions, it's all about what he do. Don't listen to his words, his words don't mean anything. What he do, what he show you, that's how you know he likes you. Like if he wanna spend time with you, if he, you know, make the smallest efforts to show that he likes you, then that's how you know he likes you. Like it's just it's common sense, like you can tell when a dude don't like you. You feel me? It's the vibe. It's the energy. Like you, it's you could tell when somebody don't like you. You could tell when somebody do like you. They 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 want to take you out. They they tell you good morning. They tell you you're beautiful. They send you flowers. You know, little things like that. You know, that's how you can tell if a guy like it. Now, if this is an older person. I just feel like it's 2022, y'all, and we should know it's grown women when a man likes us. So. But if you're a grown person and you don't know, then just take that advice that I just said. You know, like, it's all about his actions, what he do, he, you know, what he do. It ain't really much of this talking. You feel me? Like, if you're talking, let the actions back up behind you. You feel me? So if you're talking and the actions ain't, you know, on the same type of time, what you're saying, 
Yeah. Mm -mm. Question number four, y'all. What's something that you love about yourself? Something I love about myself would definitely have to be that um, no matter what someone does to me, I'm going, I always keep a good, like I, I'm always going to be a good person. Like I don't let what someone do to me turn me into a bitter person, don't turn me into a mean person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always be a good person. I'm always have a good heart. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I like about myself. I don't do like, well, if someone does evil to me, I don't do nothing evil back. I just take it on like it is what it is and just move forward. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's just not in me, you know? So that's that's something that I love about myself. I'm, I'm such a good person. I have such a good heart. And that's why I'm going to always continue to be blessed regardless of what someone does to me. I'm going to always be blessed because I'm just a good person. Like my intentions are pure. Like I'm a very genuine person. So I love that about myself. Like I love that I'm not fake. I love that I'm just such a good person. You know, it got its little downs because people tend to take advantage of good people. But at the end of the day, they're the ones that's not gonna be blessed, and the blessed gonna keep on coming to me. You know, so that's what I love for myself. <laughs> Question number five. Are you ready to date again? So many people be asking me this in my DMs, just asking me like, are you ready to date again? Like, I even had someone come up to me. He was an older guy too. I seem to be like in his, you know, mid thirties. You feel me? Um, it was when I was at Tropical Cafe. And he asked me like, yeah, how old are you? How you doing? You know what I'm saying? And I just like how he approached me, you know? But he was real, he had manners, you know what I'm saying? So he approached me well, so that was like, <laughs> you feel me? But he ended up, you know, and I'm just like, nah, I'm not interested, you know? Cause I'm not, I'm not really interested in the dating life right now. I'm just more focused on myself, of course, my daughter. But I really just wanna just take time to myself. I, I haven't really took the time you know, so I really just want to dedicate this time to myself and it's been good. The only person I have to worry about is me. You know what I'm saying? Of course, my daughter, just in case if y'all feel like, what about your daughter? Of course, my child. But speaking of about me, the only person I have to worry about is myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about any disappointments because I'm, I'm never going to disappoint myself. So, am I ready to date again? No, not right now. I'm not gonna say I would never want to date again, but right now, it's just all about me. That's it. Question number six. What dude you messed with, would you, what dude you messed with, would you go back to? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> um, let me read that. Sign on. So what dude you messed with, would you go back to? Um, I definitely picked this question out because I know it was juicy and I know y'all like juicy shit. So, um, the dude that I mess with that I go back to would definitely be. The next question is, are you afraid of having a child in this crazy world we live in? Um, it's questionable like you know so much is happening with schools just living period yes i'm scared but the only thing i can do is just prepare um my daughter for life prepare her for everything that's happening and you know just pray that she makes um a good decision you feel me but you know you can't live in fear so that's all i can do is just you know tell her guide her you know and hopefully pray that she makes the right decisions you know what i'm saying so that's really all i can do but it's quite it's questionable you know um, i'm a little worried you feel me but you can't live in fear. How old are you and when is your B-Day? So I definitely wanted to answer this even though I've been answering it 
and past Q&As, but I know I gained a lot of new subscribers. So, I am 25, I just turned 25. My birthday is July 27th, I am a Leo. I am a loyal Leo. How do you keep such a positive mindset even when things are falling apart? Um, when things are falling apart, y'all, I pray, baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna cap to y'all. When things is falling apart, when I just feel like I just don't know what to do, when I when I'm feeling like I'm just, you know, um, like when I just feel like I don't know what to do, when I when stuff is just falling apart, and I just you know, I put all my problems in God's hands. I pray and I just leave it up to God. Um, because I'm not about to stress myself out on something that I can't control, y'all know. Um, so yeah, I just know that, you know, God gonna handle it. I'm gonna pray, put it in God's hands, and just move forward. Um, so that's what I do. Um, that's how I keep a positive mindset, honestly. Like, I just block out all the negativity and I just focus on the good. But if it's really that bad, yeah, baby girl, I pray. <laughs> I pray, cause, and every time I pray, y'all, and after I pray, my bad, after I pray, I just feel a big weight off my shoulders. Like, I, and I feel relieved, y'all know. So, praying helps. And, and, and when I pray, y'all, I never ask for anything. I just thank God. I just ask him to guide me, give me strength, woody, woody, whack. And that's really how I keep a positive mindset, honestly. Um, but again, I do block out negativity and just focus on the positive. I feel like if you spend less time on negative things, you know, and keep positivity, like, in here, you know, nothing negative will get in your way. Even if it tries to, you just won't let it. And I just feel like putting all your problems in God's hands because eventually he'll resolve it. You know, so. If y'all don't pray, y'all better be praying. Y'all gotta, y'all better get closer to God. Okay, it's about that time. Do right, okay, do right. Would you want a sugar daddy? Yeah, I want a sugar daddy. Like, take care of me. Like, I'm tired of, what, 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 what was that? What was that? Send the fun. Cause I'm tired of taking care of my guy himself. I need a real man to step up to the front line. Something like that. <laughs> I'm gonna put that little meme right here. You know what? I might got my own money, but I'm sick of taking care of my goddamn self. I need a real man to step to the motherfucking front line and take over. So send the motherfucking funds. Thank <laughs> y'all, but real, real talk, real talk. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do a sugar daddy because the way my daddy set up, <laughs> the way my dad is set up, I will not have no sugar daddy for long. Like, my daddy don't play that junk. Like, no, I, I don't know if I'll be able to bring the sugar daddy around my people. <laughs> they, they, I won't have a sugar daddy for long. So, I, I don't know, but if I was have a sugar daddy, oh yeah, it's been a fun. I just want to see what is she gonna say that don't want no sugar that just give me the money. Like, I don't wanna get no sugar. I just want the money. If you like that, oh yeah. It's a period, okay? So now y'all. Um, I just said, do I want a sugar daddy? Yeah, I want a sugar daddy. Who wouldn't want a sugar daddy? Let's be honest, like, who wouldn't want I want a sugar daddy, and I'm not giving no sugar. That's my problem. <laughs> so I won't be able to have no sugar daddy, because these sugar daddies don't sugar. And I ain't trying to give them my sugar. I want the funds. <laughs> Two more questions, you guys. What's the first place you would travel to out of the country? So it's either, um, it's either, It's either, um, what is it, Tucson? I think that's what it is. Where the girls taking on pretty pictures in the water and with the queer boats. Like, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm, sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right, but Tucson or Tucson, something like that. I wanna go there. Um, and I also wanna go to, it's not with a B. 
I can't, I don't know what it is. For some reason, Bahamas is cooking in my head. And it's not that. It started with a B though. And they got the little, the little, the little houses on the water. I'm gonna uh, put a picture of it if I can remember what it is. But I have a little brain fire right now. But yo, those are the two places that I will go out, out the country and visit. Last question. What camera do you use? Okay, y'all, so what I use right now is the Canon G7X Mark III, but I'm looking to get a better camera um, because I want my quality to be better. So if y'all know some good cameras to vlog with, you know, um, hit your girl up in the DM, let me know. I heard the Sonys are good now, the bigger cameras, I heard those are good now. But me personally, I don't like big cameras because again, I don't want to be, I don't want too much attention on me. So when I go vlog, I don't want to hold a big camera where people are just looking at me. Like that will make me not want to record. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the Canon is good for me because I know how to work it. And um, it's small, you know, so it's not really noticeable. But again, I do want to step up my, you know, quality and everything. So yeah, just let me know if y'all know any good cameras. You know, I'm not a big fan of big cameras, but again, I do want my quality to be, you know, A1. So that's really it for the questions, you guys. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you want to, if y'all want, if y'all want another spicy Q and A, make sure y'all spin it up. And you know, I will do that for y'all. But that won't be until maybe like another few weeks, you know. So make sure y'all subscribe to my Jazz Fisher 2.0 channel. And that's really it. Thank y'all for tuning in. And I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.